Hey everybody, welcome on back. And let's talk about return values. Showing a dialog box or writing text to the screen is a side effect. A lot of functions are useful because of the side effects they produce. Functions may also produce values, in which case they don't need to have a side effect to be useful. Uh, okay, perhaps we could write this as part of our vocab list. And that's what happens when you accidentally hit, um, you know, open up the, the console. So we'll copy that, bring it over to our vocab list, side effect. We'll say uh, showing a dial, e.g., which I think means something like exempli gratis, grati. It's like Latin for like, here's an example of that. Um, side effect, e.g., showing a dialog box or writing text to the screen. That works. <clears throat> so, uh, functions may also produce values, in which case they don't uh, need to have a side effect to be useful. For example, the function math.mix, sorry, math.max, takes any amount of number arguments and gives back the greatest. So, there's the code. We'll go ahead and run that. Uh, min max, math max between 2 and 4. Hmm, I wonder if we just keep going. Hmm, cool. So we can go ahead and just pass in a bunch of numbers to this, and it's going to tell us which one is the biggest one. Uh, okay. When a function produces a value, it is said to return that value. Uh, anything that produces a value is an expression in JavaScript, which means function calls can be used within larger expressions. Here, a call to math.min, which is the opposite of math.max, is used as part of a plus operation. So math.min uh, between 2 and 4 plus 100. So this is going to... if this expression becomes 2, this becomes 100, then we log 102. Hmm, sounds reasonable. Uh, there's something else there. Return, that could make it onto our vocab list, but I'm going to leave it off for now. Um, hmm, no, actually, that, that's going to be useful for us. So we will go over here. We'll say return. The reason I'm going to put this in quotes is because this isn't going to be like a definition per se. It's going to be when a function produces a value, it's said to return that value. So kind of like a, uh, you know, in other words. Mm -hmm. So there's this piece of code. So we could change the min here. So if we did this for 5, then the min is going to be 4. This expression will become 4, and then added to 100, we'll log 104, as it does. Excellent. The next chapter explains how to write your own functions, which is where the fun part starts. Uh, well, it's all fun, right? Anyway, that's it for this section. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.